In this video, we're going to look at a challenge called Turtle Maze. You can access it online at the following web address. And the idea would be to use Python Turtle to control a turtle through a maze and find the exit. Let's have a look at the code. This is our Python code. Uh, we're going to look at it just to understand how it works. Um, first, we've got a line to import the turtle library. And then we've got a line to import the maze, which is actually used to draw the maze here. The rest of the program is going to be able to control a turtle to go through the maze. And our aim is going to control it to go through all those doors here, following this path up until the very top where we can exit the maze. Now let's look at how this works. We've got instructions 5 to instruction 12, which is all about setting up the turtle. We first give it a name, it's going to be called my pen. We give it a starting position, which is based on X and Y coordinates. So we're roughly starting at this dot here. We're giving it a shape, shape of a turtle, a color, a purple color, and the width of the line, which is like five pixels. Okay. The actual um, working out how to go through the maze is really starting from line 15 onwards. And we've got two functions. Let's first see what these do. I'm going to run that code. And here we go. The first instruction is telling the turtle to move forward. And it's taking one parameter. And the value of this parameter is 70. 70 is the distance in pixels that we want to travel forward for. Our second instruction is telling the turtle to turn right. We're not talking 90 pixels here, we're talking 90 degrees. Um, I've got a picture to explain that. Let's have a look at this. If my turtle is going forward, I've got two options. I can either go to the left, uh, and that's a 90 degree angle, or I could go to the right hand side, and that's another 90 degree angle. So we can use both functions in our code, um, and that's what we're going to do. So at this stage, my turtle is facing to the right, and what I want to do is move so that I'm going to reach that spot here. So let's try now. I've got no idea how big this distance here. I can only guess, and I may get it wrong, but if you try and change your parameter values, um, you will get it right. So my pen forward. Shall we try 100 pixels? Let's see what happens. Okay, 100 pixel is probably a bit too short, so I'm going to change this parameter to something slightly bigger. I'm going to try 120 and see what happens. Yeah, that looks perfect. Excellent. So um, at this stage, I want to turn to the left by 90 degree. So my pen dot left 90 degree. And I want to go forward by, hmm, shall we say, 40 or 50 pixels? Not quite sure. You know what? I'm going to go for something in between, 45 pixels, and see what happens. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, and then we want to turn left by 90 degrees. And we're going to travel this distance here, which was the same as this one here. So 120 pixels, my pen dot forward, 120. And finally, I'm going to face upwards. So I'm going to do my pen dot right to turn 90 degrees again. Let's see what happens now. Going forward, right, left and forward. Okay, now at this stage, um, I could repeat, carry on putting more instructions down here, or actually I could notice that there is a pattern emerging. Um, those three blocks, I've got exactly the same pattern, so I could repeat all those instructions three times. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to copy and paste to do so. So I'm going to highlight all of this code, Right click, copy, and I'm going to paste it on line 24. That's to go through the blue uh, part of the maze. And then I'm going to try to go through the red 
part of the maze. Okay, shall we try that to see what happens? So that's my first sets of instructions, and then it's going to repeat that. Perfect. Yeah, that's quite nice. And three times, and that's it. Excellent. And then I could uh, move forward a little bit. So at the very end, I'm going to add um, my pen dot forward and 20 maybe pixels. Okay. Now, as you can see here, we've got a set of code that we want to repeat three times. And that means our program is fairly long at this stage. We're quite lucky that we only had to do it three times, but let's say we had to do this 10 times. Um, there must be a better way than having to copy and paste 10 times. And that's what we're going to look at. In Python, you can, when you know that some code is going to repeat itself, you can use a loop to actually make the code repeat. So instead of actually having to copy and paste your code, there is a better way, a more effective way of doing this. So I'm going to delete all of this. And I'm just going to keep to what we had to start with, which was um, the code to go through here. Okay, and I'm going to tell uh, Python to repeat this code three times. To do so, I'm going to use a for loop on line 15. For i in range, and at this stage, I want to repeat three times. So I'm going to use the following code. Okay. And to, exp to tell Python which lines of code I want to repeat three times, I'm going to have to use indentation. So I'm going to indent my code, which means I'm going to add a couple of spaces before every single line that I want to repeat. Okay, so if I only did those three lines, basically Python would go through this code three times, and once it's done it, it would carry on from here. I actually want all of these lines to be repeated three times, so I'm going to indent all of these lines. Okay, and my final line here was just for the finishing bit. Um, I don't want to repeat that three times, so I'm going to leave it back to the left hand side. So my Python code should go um, in order, in line order, up to there, and then it should repeat all of the following three times, and then it should finish with line 25. Shall we try this? Let's go. Here we go, first time, second time, and it's going to do it one more time, and it's going to finish with line 25. Perfect, excellent. Now, I'm sure you can see that this code is a lot shorter, a lot more efficient than the code we first created using copy and paste. Using a for loop like this one um, is called iteration. It's got a complex syntax, but we'll get used to it. And we can actually specify how many times we want to iterate or we want to repeat our code. In this case, that was three times. Okay, I've got a quick picture to show you just to finish this uh, video tutorial. It's all to recap about the concept of iteration. Um, when we look at iterations, we're basically telling Python to actually um, go up in the code and repeat some instructions and go up again in the code and repeat and go up in the code and repeat and then carry on with the rest of the code. Okay, if I look at this into Python, this is the only way using a for loop that we can actually tell Python to go up in the code. Okay, otherwise um, Python always goes one line at a time and that's called sequencing. So the difference between sequencing and iteration is that with iterations, you can actually go up again and change the order of the program. That's perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's try it. Try it online. Try to solve this maze and see what you come up with.